Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about a book trilogy that I just recently found out about and I got it on Kindle. Be forewarned, the version on the Kindle, at least the one that I have. It's got several typos, so if your kids come and I was like, what does this mean? And they're like, that's actually two words. <laughs> it's supposed to be two words, but it's not as bad as one would think. I've seen other versions, or, you know, other Kindle editions that are worse. And as someone who kind of grew up with a lot of typos just in published books, namely great illustrated classics where there's been a one instead of an L, which has always made me wonder how you got the one with the L if the one's on, like, you know, on the far left corner of the keyboard and the L's on the right. Anyways, point is, <laughs> despite the typos, I think it's actually pretty good. And this, I've only got it in the Kindle, but it's called The Secrets of the Deep by Gordon R. Dickin by Dick the Gordon R. Dixon. I want to say Dickinson. I'm sorry, but it's, it's not Dickinson. It's Dixon. As it is, uh, it's like I said, it's a trilogy. If, if you want to get one to let your kids read the first one, you can do that or just get the whole trilogy. I think it's a lot of fun. You know, it's set in the very far distant future. That's actually in the past of 2013. <laughs> Yes, this was written in the 60s, and it was set in the distant future known to them of 2013. So if you read that, keep it in mind, you'll be like, oh, we don't have any of this stuff yet. But it's, it's pretty imaginative, and I do hope we do get some of this. If there is one thing that this book got right, though, it's that we did discover life on Mars, so there is that. However... The life he describes that was found on Mars in this book is a little different than what we actually found. So, you know, you keep that in mind. But otherwise, you know, it's pretty, it's, it's a lot of fun, short, obviously middle grade type, you know, level, if you will. I think there's a few words there in there that are, might be a little bit harder for well, I mean, it's probably, I guess you can say, harder for me than most people, because Liberulo, okay, see, I'm already messing up one of the names of the characters. I keep thinking Lilliput, oh, and Little, and what was the other one? Well, I mean, I already said Little Barulo, but... You know, it's it's one of those things that you gotta keep reading. It's like I did today. I am saying that right, but you know, it's overall, I'd say it's a fairly decent book if your kids are interested in like sea marine biology and exploring the o depths of the ocean. This will be the book for them, and even the book of you if you're interested. I mean, like I said, it is middle grade specifically, but it, it, it's it's got some pretty good story plots, and it's pretty good characters even, and some a few morals as well. But anyways, that's Secrets of the Deep by Gordon R. Dixon. Again, this is just the Kindle ver- sorry. This is just the Kindle version. You can get this on Amazon, I think, in the physical books as well. Uh, I only looked for the Kindle because, you know, like I said, it was a lot less expensive than some other versions, but it, it works for me if you don't think. If you think the amount of typos that's going to be in there is going to give you a problem, I would recommend getting a different version or getting the actual physical books. But either, I mean, other than that, it's a nice, fun ride. Short, sweet, got some pretty imaginative 
technology and creatures involved, so... And a few of some of nice and interesting plots as well. So I suggest taking a look, and if you like it, great. If not, there's always something else you can find. Happy reading, and God bless.